double team that stupid fly man. Yeah. Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Hey there, interwebs. I'm Adam, that's Corwin. This is Handbasket Gaming, and today we're playing Turtles in Time. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4. A fucking amazing game. Like, I can't... I... I... It's just so good. I'm gonna be Donatello, because he does machines. Oh, okay. He has sex with robots. That's... So I identify with him. I like him because he's got the biggest stick. Mm, yeah. Just for those robots. Yep. I actually played this game. Um, really? I had a friend who played this, so we played it a lot together. Nice. It's a great game. Like, I just... I can't... I cannot overstate how amazing this game is. Like, it controls well. It's got just enough uh, variety in your attacks and stuff so that it doesn't... Like, it doesn't become just a side-scrolling mash-the-button yeah. thing. Like, there's actually... Like, you can leap and kick and do stuff like that. And it's good. It's just good. And there's a bunch of different characters. And I don't know about you, but I absolutely fucking loved uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles growing up. I really up. liked Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I didn't uh, get to watch it very much. But I did think they were pretty cool. Neither did I actually. I didn't. Uh, I didn't watch them on TV all that often. But there was. I feel like it was actually something that would we would rent, or something that we had rented, and I just watched I saw it so the many live, times. The live action movies I've seen. Dozens oh well, yeah, of yeah, times. yeah, yeah. Those are amazing as well. Um, except for three. Three. Three was garbage, and like it was a hot pile of garbage. Yeah, it really was. Actually, it was it was not just a hot pile of garbage. It was a reheated pile of garbage. You heated it up thinking, mm, I'm going to eat this pile of garbage. Then you let it get cold. And then for some reason, you heated it up again to just boiling. So it's just like it got soggy in between. I'm going to stop talking about piles of garbage now because I realized that garbage. I... <laughs> yeah. Um, Sometimes you get good garbage. That like, I mean, it. I enjoyed it on principle because it had time travel in it. And I fucking love time travel. But... There's a limit as to how much time travel can improve a thing. And that that movie found the limit. <laughs> like, I don't even remember much of the details of it. It was just... It existed. Yeah. Um, I thought that one is probably the best one, to be honest. Oh, absolutely. Of them. Absolutely. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, about the, the cartoon. Uh, we had... It was a VHS of, like... A an assembly of episodes, just like uh, like four or five episodes, like part of, of a the cartoon. Yeah, part of a box set. Back when box sets were not on DVD, um, and I probably watched it a dozen times. And I'm trying to remember why. I know like what else was on there because like, I know that the like the origin story of Splinter was on that VHS, and that was you know that was. Because in the animated series, it wasn't what they changed it to in the in any of the movies. It mm -hmm. was what he was Oroku Saki's rat, like his pet rat, mm -hmm. and then watched uh, ro watched Shredder uh, kill Oroku Saki, and then wound up getting mutated somehow. And That's I how I remember it from the movie movie one. No, never mind. I'm wrong. In the in the uh, like the two blend together in my head, so I couldn't remember. Uh, in the show, he was, uh, like he was Shredder's uh, nemesis. Like I don't, I'm not sure if his name was Orokusaki in that case, but he was like he ran a dojo, and Shredder ran a rival dojo. I think that sounds like how all but, of those things did back then. He he was a human that mutated into a giant rat, as opposed to a rat that mutated into a giant rat, mm. which is weird, uh, to say the least, because the turtles still started as turtles in uh, in this fiction. So mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, I just I, need uh, to not die here. See, I didn't. I had the movies, um, and I didn't really watch a lot of the cartoon. I had I had an action figure of Raphael that was one of my favorites. Oh my god, the number of turtles toys that I had. Always wanted Michelangelo, but never got him. Really? Yep. I feel like that would have been pretty easy. They were like three bucks. Yeah, I just didn't. Uh, like, just never ended up. You with just one. go to 
Toys R Us. I had a lot one out of, for uh, Toys R Us. Uh, <laughs> I I had Family Toy Warehouse next to my house. Family Toy Warehouse. I've yep. never even heard of that. It's because they went out of business. <laughs> Much my like... first job was KB Toys. Actually, I worked in a toy really? store. Yeah. It was kind of awesome because I would just play with toys all day. I was gonna say that's the dream. That's that's. Were you Tom Hanks in Big? Did you... I got to. I I remember once I strapped a bow and arrow to my back and I went out to the sales floor and shot arrows at my friends who were uh, cashiering at the time. How old were you when you worked at KB Toys? I was like Cause... fifteen or sixteen, maybe. Wow, KB got, Toys got, was around that long. I got. Well, I was there, and it's like death rattle. Well, yeah. I, Shortly I would assume afterwards, they went out of business. For cause... some reason, for some reason, when you said your first job was at KB Toys, I pictured you as like an eight-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> like it doesn't I mean, make any sense, but that's I what I had in my head. I did start working the day I was old enough to. Oh, it... I started working when I was eight. So okay. <laughs> It wasn't legal. It was a sweatshop. Yes. Well, it was my family donut shop, so yes, it was very sweaty. <laughs> uh, but that was only when I was visiting my cousin, so it wasn't like... It wasn't that uh, fucking traumatic. <laughs> it was traumatic, just not that traumatic. I just remember that they they were always like, we have lose so much stuff in theft, and we don't understand why we're losing all this money. Meanwhile, they had a giant table of PlayStation 1 games. Yeah. Literally stacked up with thousands of dollars of the PlayStation 1 games, some marked as high as, like, 50 bucks, just sitting right next to the exit door of the uh, of the mall. Man, my, like, my timeline of things, like, this is kind of derailing, but my timeline of events is completely fucked right now because I thought KB Toys went out of business way before the PlayStation 1 went into existence. Went oh, into no. existence. Your timeline's definitely out, because PlayStation 2 was out when I was working at KB really? Toys. Yeah, they had them on the table because they had the PlayStation 2 stuff behind the the counter. Huh. Oh, that's a bomb. Yep. That's that's clearly marked as a bomb, and if we pick that up, we're idiots. I'm saying... <laughs> You're welcome, future <laughs> Adam, for that really easy setup to the bit for when we step on that fucking box, because it's gonna <laughs> happen. And then it didn't happen. Nah, and, because we were good. And in case we were good. <laughs> we're we're that, good be we're well behaved boys. I need this. Thank go you. Go for it. I uh something else I remember about that is that it was it was my I started working the day I turned uh sixteen is is was how old you had to be to start working. Unless you worked at McDonald's, then you could be like fourteen because I don't Slave know how labor. they managed it, but yeah. they, they do it did. You could also work at fifteen and a half certain places. Metalhead! Oh, I'm shit. gonna mangle you green slime balls. Emphasis on balls, apparently. All right, what's the strat here? The strat Just here is him. hit him a bunch. Whoa, lasers. Okay. Okay, he's got rocket kicks. Like, cause oh. I I remember playing this game, but I like it was a rental or maybe a friend owned it. I can't remember, but I don't. I definitely don't have the strats down nearly oh, as much I as I down, do buddy. for uh, for Turtles Three: The Manhattan Project. Uh huh. Because that was also a pretty great game. Mind you, I never played that one without Game Genie. Because once I found out that your special move actually used up your life. Because uh, you, you, I think you probably have one in this as well. But if you hit both buttons, shit. At the same time, it does a special move that's more powerful. But cool. it eats up a life bar. Like, it eats up one of your uh, one of your pips of life. The pip of life. <laughs> <laughs> uh but once I figured that out, like, once I learned that that was a thing, I'm just like, that's bullshit. This game is all bullshit. I'm cheating. I don't care. Because <laughs> uh, I just, I couldn't accept it. I don't know. That's a Xenomorph. That is a Xenomorph. I remember this level now. I remember because Xenomorphs pop out of the water. And I played this game before I even knew, knew anything were? about Zalians. Uh, yeah, about Zalians, which is short for Xenomorph Aliens. I. Uh, but yeah, I played this way before that, and when I first saw some reference to aliens, and I'm just like, oh, it's those things from the sewers. Why aren't they yellow? Because I think <laughs> they're yellow in this. <laughs> well, that KB Toys that I was working at was actually the... Uh, <laughs> I keep derailing your stories you today. Keep, I'm really bad at that today. Uh, Not just today. It was the first um, like Black Friday job that I ever had, where they were like, yeah, we got to warn you about Black Friday. It's going to be a nightmare. Uh -huh. And they brought us all in for a big Black Friday thing. They gave, they all bought us pizza. It was kind of neat. 
and we had a big old like meeting where they what? explained what everyone's roles were going to be. If certain people Shit. were going to specifically be wandering the lines of people. Yeah. And just, uh, I'm just fucked. Yeah, this is not great. Oh, no, I died. Yeah, they are yellow. I was right about that. <laughs> Sometimes I can't be sure because fucking... Yeah, I remember I used to make a point to try to kill these guys, but there's no reason to, and it's just dangerous, so I'm just avoiding them. Because I've already lost a life, and that's that's not good. We gotta... We're, we're gonna do a full playthrough of this. <laughs> Actually, we but might do a full playthrough of this. We, I remember uh... this not being very long. Anyway, sorry, Black Friday. I'm really shitty. <laughs> So they had us uh, all take this, uh, some very specific positions. Like, you're going to be the guy that wanders up and down the giant line handing out flyers. And you're going to be the guy at the register. And you're going to stand in this aisle and help people with these toys and shit like that. And I remember huh. thinking, it's going to be a nightmare. Oh, i got to be prepared for this. It's a big, giant day. And I came in to work my shift. And there were, like, maybe five or six people in the store. Huh. Because this is the very beginning of, like, the point where people stopped like shopping in malls and started shopping online oh interesting so they didn't they didn't even know how to handle it they were completely caught off guard by it and uh yes! fuck, how did i get behind him there we go i don't know you fucking nailed it though like you you carried us through that fucking level that's interesting like first off it's interesting that they would actually no that does make sense i was gonna say why would you be handing out flyers you've already got them there well, why the would you idea, be advertising the idea was that but, they, people had to know where exactly the exact toy was. yeah and there's like specific things that that makes sense and that me. was the very first year that they were just like what we don't understand what's happening and that was really the beginning of the death toll for them yeah and yet like there are still people who do like day of black friday oh i i mean i worked stuff. retail for a long time like for years and years and years after it was probably like the death knell of toys like it's the beginning of the end for toy stores well toy stores already don't make a big margin so they don't have a lot to to make and they also like yeah a lot of kids love toys and all that there's even collectors like toys but in the grand scheme of things they're not super expensive that's why, to plus at that point in time is when box stores like Target and like Walmart were that, popping up. That's more what it is. And you is can that get toys anywhere. Exactly. It's that anyone who was just specialized in toys and didn't do all the other stuff. Was just was done. Started falling to the wayside. Mousers! Uh, excuse me. Fucking mousers. That just kind of goes to show all the all the massive changes happened just in like the past. Um, yeah, it's really it's kind of interesting to see just the way that the landscape has changed. I mean, even Partly technology of, wise, as a kid, like you uh, had to come home and the street lights were on. You didn't have uh, a, a phone to keep your watch on. Didn't like, have didn't uh, have street lights. Uh, I had a pocket watch because I'm a nerd. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> But yeah, ours wasn't come home when the streetlights come on. It was home before... I don't know when I would have to be home. It was always... Oh, no, that's what it was always. It was... Uh, I would be over at a friend's house, and it was, am I going home or am I eating here? So dinner was the cutoff. Mm. And then if I ate there, usually it was come home after dinner. Unless it was a weekend, at which point it was, am I sleeping at your house or are you sleeping at my house? Did that guy just pop out of that pizza box? Yeah, he did. He was. He's a bomb. That's put him down. He's the bomb, yo. Yep. That's another change. That used to be a saying back in my day. <laughs> I heard someone at work the other day say, "What's the dilly, yo?" like jokingly, and <laughs> it brought me back. <laughs> it's a type of pickle, yo. <laughs> uh, Shredder TV. Oh yeah, that back before big screen TVs were a thing, you would have banks of monitors like that and have images stretched across them in order to uh, to make a picture bigger. It was stupid. Yeah, it really was. Right. Foot. Oh, I remember oh, this someone's... guy being difficult. Or no, oh, I remember... Oh, shit. Yeah. Master say, have fun. Fun. I remember being... Spending a lot of time being knocked into those lasers. That is what I remember about this fight. Oh, and Toka... Or... One of them fucking freezes you. Like, the, I think those beams freeze you. I seem to remember that. I thought I was you... And was probably just swinging ineffectually in the corner for longer than I care to admit. <laughs> All right, this is good. We're we're really doing a good job on concentrating damage. Um, Yo, the puppy. I foresee we death are kicking coming. ass. I don't, I don't understand how I'm not dead. Oh, I must have died at one point. 
because I'm back up to two lives, which means uh, I must have used a continue. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I've had to use one of those yet, but I am out of lives. Yeah, so you are. You're now. actually you're doing better than I am. And on the next episode, we'll continue doing well. Turtle powers. T u r t l e. So, what kind of weird tattoo would I give Adam? L e power. Answer down below. We'll record the right answers. And <laughs> that was from the soundtrack. Yeah, well, that was from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the yeah. Ooze. Uh, answer down below. We'll record the right answers. Give shout-outs to people. Get the right gifts. Game suggestions down there as well. We'll do our best to blame. If you like our stuff, subscribe to the channel. If you have friends who would like our stuff, please share the videos around to them. Bye. Peace.